why why do people always run back to who I like to call, who I have dubbed, yep, I'm moving, Mr. No Good. Oh, why? Why do people do, why? Like, who is this dude? You can't meet somebody and get all. Now, I'm not saying you can't get extra attached. You can't have feelings. You can't help that stuff. You can't help, you know, having feelings for somebody. But I am going to say, if this person is not for you and you know it, check yourself out. People do it. Sometimes, sometimes you like somebody so much. You just, like, refuse to believe that they, like, you like somebody so much that you just want to, like, just mother them with, like, how much you like them almost, and you refuse to believe that they do any wrong. Like, you can't take it. Like, you refuse to believe that they are capable of any wrong. They do anything wrong. Like, you just can't even be in that. So, therefore, you overlook stuff. You pretend you don't see some stuff. It, but then there comes a point when everybody around you is like, you know, that dude's really fucked up. And you probably don't need to be with them. I'm not saying you need to be listening to everybody. Because sometimes those people don't always have the best interest in mind. Or they're just outsiders looking in. So, they don't really know. But I am saying, think about it. And you always know when you just with somebody just to fucking be with them. Like, you just don't even need that person. Like, the fuck? You're like, I just cannot. And I've done it. But I just cannot go back to them again. Like, that is. I cannot physically be with Mr. No Good ever again. There is always somebody. There's going to be at least two in your life. But there's always somebody. You just Mr. No Good. Like people run back to Mr. No Good or Mrs. No Good because there's plenty of those too. Depends on your orientation or whatever you into. But there's Mr. and Mrs. No Goods out here all the time. There's always that bitch that you know is no good for you, but you continue to talk to her ass and and try and make it work. I don't know why. And there's always that dude that you know that you have no business around. But for some reason, you just continue making excuses to see them, continue making excuses to talk to them, and you don't understand my CDs are in his car. That's like what Dane Cook says. He's talking about people need to break up, and they don't. Girl, you understand my CDs are in his car. The fuck? Like, what's more important, your dignity or your CD CDs? Hell, if you like me, you're going to get those CDs back. You're going to go there, not speak. you be like, listen, I need to get my CDs. Like, go in, get the CDs, and leave. And that's the last time you ever see their bitch ass. Like, I would never, I just cannot, I'm not allowing myself to do that. And, like, when you keep going back to somebody who's no good for you, you have to really look at your self esteem and, like, where you at. Like, how, how, how are you really doing? Like, and you know it's no good to be with them. Like, how are you really, like, how are you doing? Because it's just not right to go back with somebody who just, obviously doesn't have like what you need like what's your self esteem looking like that you can go back to somebody like that like you don't want to disrespect yourself by going to somebody when you when you choose a mate or when you try to choose a mate don't you want to be with somebody who's like a, a proper reflection of your taste and you and therefore you want to be a proper reflection of theirs well Mr. No Good is probably not a proper reflection of your taste and I don't care if he's good on Tuesdays well, there's always those bunch of other days where he's not good. I don't care if it, when a good is good and when it's bad is bad. Who wants to be in a relationship like that? I want to be in a relationship when it's good is good, when it have bad moments, we get over them and we're good. Or we're okay, or we're mediocre. I don't want these highs and these lows. Like, that's not how it's going. Like, you're going to have just, when you get married, it's not a good day every day. You got to live with that person and deal with their issues. So, it's just going to be mellow sometimes. Like, you're not going to love somebody to death every single day. I don't. 
So I don't understand like how you feel and you slept with him for a week and now you guys just gotta be attached to the penis. Like <laughs> like he's just forever in your heart now. No, you get keep these people come and go. You gonna meet a couple of these people that you don't feel so connected to. What sucks is letting them go and realizing that you need to let them go and re- looking to take a look at yourself. Trust me, I can speak on these things because I've done them all. I've had them happen to me. I learned from other people's mistakes. Like, it happens. So you can't get all extra attached to, like, douchebag pe- people. Like, bitches and douchebags. Like, there's no reason. Because there's another bitch out there who is so much better and just waiting on you. There's another guy out there so much better and waiting on you. Or maybe he's not better, but he, but, but there's somebody else. Like, you could be wasting your time at least getting to know another person. Instead of stuck with what his name is all the time, like, at least go get to know another bad person, you know? Like, don't get stuck with the same person, get stuck in a rut. Like, that's like being out of fashion, out of style. That's not, that's not what's up. And that's not cute. That's all I gotta say on it. That's all I gotta say on it. That's not what's up and that's not cute. It is not cute. Nope. Nope. That's all. That is all. That's all I gotta say on Mr. No Good and Mr. No Good. They, these people come in and they come out just as quickly as they came. And you gotta like decide where's my self esteem at and where's my happiness.